Hey everybody, so getting some questions about the breathing and thinking and the relationship to thought and that kind of thing. All right, so let's just get to brass tacks. When you're doing your breathing or you're meditating, whatever, it's not about extinguishing all thoughts, negative, positive, whatever. It's about being in some sort of control. Now, just like when you're seated by a river and the river's flowing and an old refrigerator flows by or a can or bottle garbage, you can't control that. But you can control um, how much you hold on to that. So the thought goes by like that old refrigerator, then it disappears around the bend. We don't need to hold on to that thought. So all you're gonna do is what's called witnessing. I've talked about this before, it's a hot new thing. You Google it, you'll see it all over. You're just looking at the thought and saying, okay, that's interesting, good example. Like I've said a hundred times, when I'm going over a monologue um, or going through lines, all these extra, extraneous thoughts come popping up. Some okay, not okay, some not so okay, and they can quickly derail me. So what I work on is just going with the breath and saying, okay, that's interesting in my mind and let it go. It's, look, it's not the easiest thing, but it takes practice. So the goal is not to extinguish and not have these thoughts. It's not to hold on to them, to simply witness them. So be compassionate. Um, the other thing, again, these elements I'm picking up from things I'm taking all over the place. Uh, they're not mine per se, right? But I'm just handing them off to you and guiding you towards that. Is, um, you know, you can play with identifying, witnessing, breathing it, right? Breathing it, life, breathing. Um, and then uh, replacing that thought or at least questioning it, okay? With, uh, this guy's like, stop me in the middle of the road. Let that go. No road rage, man. Just let it go. Now, this guy's going 100 miles an hour. Uh, okay, so, excuse me. So, uh, where were we? We're, you can toy with replacing that thought or, or balancing it with one of your own. Like, let's say you're in it. I'm never going to find another person to love or I'm a loser because I was rejected. That can be, hey. This is just a bump in the road. I'm gonna get through this stronger. Um, I think it's helpful to, to say that. One of the issues, the potholes can be, you don't wanna get in a, an epic struggle between Godzilla and King Kong over this. You know, you pick who you are in that scenario where you say, no, I am worthy, but you're not worthy. Remember you screwed that up, I'm not talking about that. Just put it out there. And even during the day when things aren't popping in your mind you're just going back to say hey it's a nice day today i got this i'm gonna uh you know what can i do to make this a really special strong day so um really it's about doing it every day and not worrying about getting in this this epic struggle and fixing everything just let it be and, and you'll find that things arise naturally from that state of setting things up right where you don't don't uh, get deep and dark and judgmental and everything. Really, it's judgment, okay? Um, so just a review. Witness the thoughts. Don't try to control them. If you like, try to put another element on there, a positive spin to it. Uh, what's helpful with this, like I've said before, there's some of you doing the Wim Hof breathing and the uh, cold showers and everything. I'd suggest when you're doing that, which I love, that starts my day. You wanna do some breathing, uh, box breathing, just to cool the jet some, because the Wim Hof stuff, the deep breathing, it, it kicks open the door and you wanna settle down. There's parasynthetic, synthetic breathing and and uh, sympathetic, or you know what? I butchered that, I butchered it. Let me go back and do my homework on that, but you'll read that, okay? Now, I'm not going to delete this video because that was really a, a stupid <laughs> pronunciation on both of those. Um, so again, to my friends who have asked me about this, we're breathing. I'm going to stop. It's all right. A little box breathing right now. Why not? Get, get it going through the day. Don't just wait to hit it 
uh, when you're upset. Get your body used to this. Breathing in, hold, out, hold, out. You did your out, right? One, two, three, four, and you hold one, two, three, four. Again, I've said this before. Dude, if you on your on your holds, you visualize, and you guys doing Wim Hof, you do this too on your breath hold. You visualize people in your life and her, let's say your ex, what have you. You visualize her having a good, beautiful life and smiling. Man, that's power, bro. That's uh, serious power. That's what I'm interested in. Not the guilt, the fear, the less than. She's a person. Yeah, maybe she did the worst stuff to you, but that, there's no there there. Maybe you're right. Some of you guys are deployed in, in Afghanistan or firefights in the middle, some hellhole, and then you get this letter. You're, you're a hero and you get this letter or email or what have you. You're right. That's wrong. I understand where you're coming from, but embrace the suck, as they say. Um, we're looking for health and growth, and there's just none there. There's none there. But if you can visualize her happy and healthy, something happens in you, it's growth. And that's what we're interested in, all right? So do your breathing, don't hold on and judge these thoughts. It may take a while to get their claws out of you. It takes me, I mean, I'm still working on it, but I just breathe and uh, say, try to create space between that thought, all right? And the effects of it, um, like Macbeth would say, the thought and the action. There's no gap there. Um, so it's uh, it's seeing it, sensing it, and just breathing and not getting attached to it, like uh, carrying a piano on your back. I think you get what I'm saying. All right, there's other stuff, but I just wanted to get this one out there, guys. Uh, let's talk again. We'll go through a little more thorough of that. Hit me with questions if you like and uh, we'll go from there, all right? I'm gonna do a holiday, because the holiday is upcoming and I know that's a hard time for people. Peace, we're a team, and you're part of the team now, so even if you just got the bomb dropped on you in the worst place possible, <laughs> living in a rat hotel or out of your car for a few days, we need you, you gotta step up, I need you. Don't go underground, don't go MIA. Yeah, I know it sucks. I know you wanna bury your head. I know what do you do, especially with kids. But this is what makes a man a man. My mantra going through this was, what is man if he is not tested? Okay, doesn't mean you don't break down and have your times. It just means you get back up, give up the myths. The courage is in the mud and you're not thinking you're gonna make it through and you just get to that next point with your breathing, with your witnessing, non-judgmental. Let go of all that garbage because you're gonna jump in the river and jump onto that garbage piece of uh, refrigerator and float away. Not on my watch, son, not on my watch. All right, peace, talk to y'all soon.